Hi guys, VSC here, Venus Peace Tech. Welcome back on my channel. Yet another video for Samsung. Because Samsung, you know Samsung, right? They are really very quick managing to provide and push out the latest security updates even before OnePlus. But also Samsung updating their own apps quite often. And today, guys, I just want to show you two important updates that Samsung pushed. First one is in the Galaxy Store. When you open the Galaxy Store, you might get a message that an update is available. So now there is a version 4.5.21.6 and I wanted to show you guys actually how this has worked in the past. So this is the version from the 5th of November and they also updated the Samsung Galaxy Store on the 25th of October and then it is actually two versions and then it goes back to September, August, so quite, quite regularly. So I'm just gonna go and update the Samsung Galaxy Store. I just want to see after the update of the Samsung Galaxy Store if I have any updates to my Samsung stock apps. Then I'm going to update um, as well. And then I'm just gonna leave something interesting for the end. So don't skip the video, guys. Please make sure to watch the whole video. And by the way, if you like this type of videos, you might as well consider subscribing for my channel. Hit the like button. If you want to ask me something, you can do it here. Or you can hit me up also on my Telegram channel. You can find all these details in the video below. Samsung Galaxy Store now has been updated running it for the first time. I checked the change log. There's is not so many details there, but okay, first thing I wanna do guys, go here directly into updates. And I wanna check here if there are any new updates. Most probably guys, the same updates to the Samsung stock apps also are gonna be available for you. So the first thing we see is Tollback. Tollback is a screen reader service. So usually guys, Tollback is used when you want your phone to read some things for you. We have also a new version of Samsung Note. So let's try to see if we can find the change log here. They just say updated version. And then we have also an updated Samsung USB-C provides the ability to update the latest color of bundle of earphones. Right, what's new? Again, nothing really much meaningful. And then there is the Samsung TTS, which is the text-to-speech. So my suggestion is, guys, just update them all. You know what I do? Once a week or twice a week, I just go into my Galaxy store and I just check all the updates because again, Samsung are really very fast and consistent. This of course is the Galaxy S20 Plus US version 5G unlock running the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon chip. Maybe if you have it in all the device, the updates are not gonna be so often, right? But I promise you guys to show something very interesting at the end of my video. So I'm just gonna close the Samsung Galaxy store and leave this to update in the background. And I'm just gonna scroll here to the left because this this is actually what I want to show you guys. Welcome to Samsung Free. So if you've been familiar, these phones, they use the Samsung Daily, which is kind of like a Google Feed. And quite honest with you guys, I didn't like it at the beginning because I was really fond of the Google Feed that I have right now on my OnePlus 8. It's really stuck, which is really great. But then I used to kind of like, like it. And eventually the last few months I was using it. Now, apparently Samsung free is replacing the Samsung daily. So let's just hit here agree. And let's just see guys what is gonna be inside. All right, it seems that the first thing I see is here is Samsung TV Plus, which apparently is not available for my country. But we see here we have the watch, we have the read tab, and we have also the play tab. And I think this is a little bit different compared to what we had in Samsung daily. So let's see here guys, if I go to the read tab, of course we have some news here. Okay, you can apparently customize this. So let's say I wanna get the news, I wanna get some entertainment, sports, tech, business, lifestyle, politics, or right, some finance and food and drinks. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go, oh, all right. Ah, that's pretty nice, guys. When you scroll down, you can immediately jump from one topic to the other topic, okay? And um, let's see what happens if I go back. No, you just exit. I just want to go, let's say, in a different tab. Okay, so you need to scroll up like this, and then eventually here you have also the play tab. All right, so you see what Samsung is doing pretty much. They want to kind of like keep the user into their ecosystem. So, you know, using their apps, of course, getting into their store. And that's not something bad. I mean, we know Google is doing the same. We know that also Apple is doing the same. And also what we see, guys, it's really service oriented. So the very first tab is called Samsung TV Plus, right? And I think this probably is gonna be the future of these companies to provide more subscription-based services could it be like entertainment? Could it be like some lifestyle or gaming, right? And actually Apple is doing the same. Samsung is doing the same. Google is doing the same, of course, there inside with the ad business. So I think this is gonna be, you know, where things are going. If you press more games, guys, you actually go to the Welcome to Game Launcher, which I actually never set up on my phone. And you see, you are directly guided to the Samsung Galaxy Store. So you're not even going to the Play Store. When I go here, okay, you can see here Galaxy Store, game performance. All right, so let me just go back again to free. 
I just want to see something else. If I go back to Samsung Free, that's a little bit annoying, guys. So if you are, let's say, in one of the tabs and you want to go to the previous one, you need to scroll up and then go to, let's say, the other tabs. And let's see what settings we have here. This is the version 500114. Okay, what else can be found here? Apparently, the categories that I showed you, you can apparently also reorder them. Okay, it's not, honestly, that's not very intuitive. I need to take my phone in the hand. Okay, you just drag and drop it like that. And now when I go here, I should be seeing tech. So, okay, that's not good, guys. I still see news. Let me just see one more time. All right, it should be actually tech. Not sure what it's, ah, you see, it's, this is kind of weird. Let me just try to kill it, by the way. I'm just gonna try to, to kill everything. Go back into Samsung Free, and I still see news, and that's not quite okay, because my first category apparently is tech. Anyway, tech is here. Right, so more articles, and then let's see what happens when you press more articles. I think the Samsung browser is opened, and you go to Tabula News, which I don't know what it is. Now, honestly, I still think that the Google feed is the best, and that's only and simply because I use Google a lot, right? But if you are like a hardcore Samsung user, you might as well like this new Samsung Free. Now, design-wise, I think the Samsung Daily looked a little bit better, more simplistic. But okay, guys, this is gonna be the future in case you wanna use this. So yeah, feel just free. And guys, I really hope that you enjoy this type of videos. Again, if you have any questions related to what I'm doing and to all the applications, you can hit me up, leave a comment here, go to the Telegram channel. So we are looking more like 200 people discussing all sorts of things. And I really hope, guys, that we're gonna see each other again in my next video. So catch up with you in the next video. Enjoy your weekend. And yeah, this is the over and bye.